All right, guys. So today we're gonna vlog, but it's gonna be a little bit different. As most of you know, you've seen the inside of our bus, you've seen the outside of our bus, you've probably seen our white bus, you've seen us help Wes and Chris on Zep 3 or the Alana bus. So what does it take or what do I have that allows me to build these buses? These are some tools that I swear by, that I have purchased, and most of these tools have been through all of them builds, and we carry them with us all the time. They're always with us. It's what we use, it's what I believe in, it's what I've got through several buses and several projects with. So, for starters, I, you can tell that I have two different brands of tools, and I've only stuck to them two different brands of tools, for one particular reason. Milwaukee's a little bit better of a tool, so they're a little bit more expensive. So the things that I use a little more, or I'm a little harder on, or I rely on more, I have in Milwaukee. The things that I use a little less, or need a little less, or not as hard on, I have went with Ryobi, which is a little bit less of a tool program. But let me tell you, both of them have came through for exactly what we've needed them for, and I wouldn't go any other way. I've been very happy with everything that we have, so let's dive into what we all use. First up, I have a Milwaukee circular saw. Everything is battery powered. I have a Milwaukee circular saw. I have a Milwaukee Sawzall and I have a Milwaukee grinder. These are the ones that I really put the action to. Um, I use these to cut the, I use the grinder to cut the seats out of our white bus. I use the grinder to do the ceiling in our green bus here with the lines and stuff to make it look a little more rustic or faded. Uh, but yeah, then the Sawzall, circular saw, obviously all the plywood, all the two by fours, all the floor, everything we cut with them. And then I have a quarter inch impact in Milwaukee and I have a drill from Milwaukee. These two, priceless. I've used hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of screws and all the, th like we took the entire ceiling down in this bus and every one of them was a square bit head. So these are put to the test every single time, every single day. I use them for everything. I swear by them, I love them and you gotta have them. You may giggle that we have this Milwaukee flashlight, but this was actually the only lighting that Tanya and I had in both of our buses. So the white bus, the entire time, all we had was the old Milwaukee flashlight. The green bus, all we had was this for a couple of months of living in it, as well as the first six months of owning this bus. So it may seem like a little stupid flashlight, it came through for all the lighting that we need. Uh, and then of course, as we got farther into our build, we needed to start keeping things cleaned up. Uh, we got flooring now instead of just painted plywood. So Tanya wanted a new vacuum and I understand that. And so I went with a vacuum from Milwaukee that took the batteries that we already have so that we have a complete package. Everything here is all M18, which is what Milwaukee calls them, their 18 volt setup. We actually got the saw, the grinder, the sawzall, the drill, the impact, and the flashlight all in a kit during Thanksgiving. So there was like a, we were close to Thanksgiving. It wasn't quite a Black Friday sale because I don't get into all that hooting nanny, but we got it as an entire kit, or maybe we had to add something, I don't remember. But we got a lot of it all in one kit, and so that helped a ton, and we saved a bunch of money. I wanna say it was around 500 bucks. And then with the vacuum we added, the vacuum was around 120. We got two batteries, we got a charger for all of the things, and it has been priceless. We have put the Milwaukee stuff to work. It's made us money. It's helped us build our buses. Couldn't be more happy with what we have so far. And I'm here to tell you, this little vacuum is unbelievable. It was the best purchase we had. It's a wet dry vac, 18 volt. It literally just plugs in just like any other tool. It's got a slot for the battery to slide in, fires up, and it is awesome. 
on to the Ryobi. Um, originally, what I bought was the two sanders. So uh, a corner sander and a palm sander. And yep, you guessed it, we used them to sand our bus down. Um, we used both of these, we sanded the entire bus before both of us went back and hand sanded the whole thing. Uh, but the sanders with some sandpaper was absolutely priceless. There's no way I would have wanted to hand sand the whole thing. Um, so them were our first purchase as far as Ryobi went. I thought I'd give them a try. I know it's a little lesser. I knew I was only going to use them a few times. It turns out we've used them a ton more than what we thought we were going to, but I'm still happy with what I purchased. They are a great tool and I wouldn't do it any other way. The next thing I purchased was a, a jigsaw. Um, we did use it to cut the max air fan into our ceiling. We've obviously used it to trim and do all the things with our cabinets and all that stuff. I have broke one of these. The spring busted when I was cutting some aluminum and I was able to take it back and get a new one. Uh, a great tool, absolutely love it. But I did break one of the springs on one. Again, they're a little bit cheaper of a tool. They did replace it, so I got no complaints. I obviously got another one, had nothing but good luck with it, and I have used it a lot more than what I thought I was going to. Lastly, this was the last purchase I have made, was a Ryobi Air Brad Nailer, or Finish Nailer. And let me tell you, I was as skeptical as anybody else. Um, it's actually beautiful. I used it to put all of our cord around around the floor and our cabinets and all that. I've used it to put, uh, I framed all of our windows with pl uh, pallet wood. So I used it for all that. For a battery powered little deal, it is absolutely awesome. I love it, it lights up, it's dual activated. So you have to push here and then push on the trigger and then it'll shoot but I've had no problems. It shoots the nails as deep as I want them to be, but you can also adjust them. So the biggest thing I wanna show you or tell you or let you know why we went the way we went, every tool that I have is battery powered. These Ryobi tools all take the same batteries. These Milwaukee tools all take their own batteries. I have the batteries for them, so I continue to buy the tools that match the, bat the things that we already have, so you're not it getting more and more expensive um, with that everything is battery powered I don't have any any corded tools not that I don't have solar to run one but the battery powered is easier on our solar system and we're able to just charge the batteries and continue work as we go with that Tanya will tell you, I will tell you, and half the people that have seen us in Home Depot will tell you, everybody's made 7,000 Home Depot trips in a day because you forgot a screw or you didn't get the cock or you didn't get, grab the glue or you didn't whatever, whatever, you grabbed the wrong thing. One thing that's a little tip that Tanya and I do is I will go to Home Depot, I will park in the back all by myself, and I will literally work on whatever it is that I want to work on in Home Depot's parking lot. And what I mean is, the other day I had to frame all the windows out, I literally opened up my boxes, got my tools out, did it right in the parking lot, so then if I need to run back inside, I can go get a couple of screws or I can get that glue or I can get the tape or whatever it is that I need. And that is why we went battery powered from the get go. Our white bus didn't have solar, so we knew we had to have something that we could use. So we were able to charge our batteries up before we would go outside and then we would work on it, go back into the motel that we were staying at and we could charge them back up. In the meantime, we've obviously moved on, moved into this bus. And so the battery powered thing has just came with us. As far as having battery powered stuff, I've never had a problem with not being enough power or not being what we need. The biggest problem is, is obviously the batteries drain and I do only have two batteries of each. I'm still trying to convince Tanya to let us buy a couple more, but every time we talk about it, then it's like, well, we're almost done with our bus. And then you guys know how it goes. We jump into another bus and another this, and we're doing that. We just need to buy two more batteries so we can keep going. But yeah, as far as that, that's realistically all I have used other than a table saw when we were with Wes um, to build this whole thing, to build our white bus, to help with Zep3. 
Um, it, it's, I swear by all of them. But everybody knows there's one more thing. When you have tools, you have to have a toolbox. So, without further ado, welcome to the Spread Love Bumper. When you have tools, you gotta have places to put them. We built this. This side does the exact same thing. The handy thing is they're double locked so that not only does this lock, but then obviously I've got the padlock on the outside. So if someone came by and busted my padlock off, my boxes are still locked. They're waterproof. They're weatherproof. We've never had any water in them. We've never had them leak. They are absolutely awesome. We love our rear bumper. The center spot where it says spread love carries our spare tire and a couple of extra tools, jacks and things like that. So when you bring tools, you got to have a toolbox. And these are the tools that we use to build all of our stuff. Thanks for watching today. I hope this helped you out. Hopefully you can start to build yourself a little tool set and you can get your bus done or your home project done. If it all works out, let us know how it goes. Thanks guys.